Next room we're going to cover is going to be the Main Street room. Entering from the side of the house, you're going to pass the Patriot room. You will pass the hall closet, which contains the kitty goods like the pack and play, things of that nature. There's a uh, baby bath in there to use in the sink. All of that's in the hall closet. All right, we're going to Main Street. Okay, here in the Main Street room, when you come in, we'll work from one corner to the next. First thing you're gonna have is your 55 inch TV. And again, this remote works the same way as the rest do. You got a power button, you're gonna hit that once, and then you're gonna hit it twice. And with any luck, the TV will come on. Once the TV comes on, takes just a little bit, so don't get concerned. Once it comes on to make your channel selections in the upper right hand corner, you have the guide button. And all of this, I, I imagine everybody's pretty familiar with. We'll just go over it for simplicity's sake. When you get up to that guide button to move the selection up and down, just press the up and down button to make your selection. Once you get it someplace that you want it, press the select button. That'll bring up that channel. Then you control the volume. On the left side, you'll see the volume up and down. And on the right side, you will see the channel, which you can change channels without having to go to the guide. And once you're in these channels, you can do some other, well, there's really no limit, but if you would uh, like to know some of the other options that are available with this remote, there is a channel on the dish menu that you can go to, and it will show you some other options with this dish remote. But that's a, just a quick on and off, find something to watch in the Main Street room. Press it once to turn it off. Next, we get to the jukebox, and we're not skipping over this, but... We do have a video on how to operate the jukebox along with the turntable and the Bluetooth. So please be sure to check out that video. Uh, it goes into detail on how to, how to turn it on and off. As we move across, we're going to come to the Frigidaire retro model refrigerator that is under the bar here in the main street room. You have a bottle opener on the side with a trash can to catch the bottle caps underneath it move up to the uh, the soda bar at the soda bar the light main light is controlled by this switch right here to the left uh, is labeled bar light on the first shelf of the bar you have your flavor shots which these of course are complimentary you guys can use these to make milkshakes you can use them to flavor your coffee you can use them to flavor your your sodas uh, we do have uh, Topo Chico mineral water. They're very good uh, to flavor it with if you like a little bit of flavor with your mineral water. Just be sure to pour that mineral water into a mug, which is located just to the left of the ice maker. Pour it into the mug first. <laughs> I did this by experience, so I know if you open the lid on the Topo Chico bottle, and give it a squirt of flavor, you're gonna have it all over your hand in the bar because it's gonna come out. So make sure you pour that into a mug before you uh, actually start mixing it up. On the first shelf that is available for your enjoyment and purchase is a selection of Americana sodas. We got ginger ale, ginger beer, cherry cola, root beer, ginger beer, black cherry. We got orange cream, we got honey cream. And when we're lucky, and it's available we have huckleberry and huckleberry is just something that you got to experience because it's really good at any rate uh, that's our americana selection of sodas on the shelf above them is the genuine dr pepper no fructose corn syrup in that stuff just real good old sugar we got topo chico mineral water uh, if you're a purist i guess we could call it the harito bland brand of uh, drinks Mandarin, fruit punch, mango, strawberry, lime, tamarind. We got all of that. And uh, the frosty, we had to have just a few frosty flavors since we've got a neon sign that says frosty. We've got blue cream soda, grape soda, and root beer in that. 
Down below that is the ice maker, which again, there is a uh, video on exactly how to operate that. If you do want to purchase a soda, we've got a cash payment jar there, or simply use your phone on for, to scan the QR code on the front of the ice maker. Uh, you enter your card number once, and from that point on, anything you want that we have around here, you simply use your phone, scan it, and you're good to go. To the left of that is a coffee maker, which you can use your Keurig cup, or you can use a pour over. In this room, most of the time, it gets used as a pour over because in CC's kitchen, we have the Keurig cup. Um, you've got three different Black Rifle coffee flavors that you can choose from up there and uh, some pretty cool coffee mugs, some other stuff over there. Uh, in the event that you have any kind of an emergency over here with any kind of a fire, fire extinguisher is located just to the left of the bar and to the right of the fireplace. All right, moving along here. We're gonna move over to the other corner where the bunk bed's located. That's pretty self-explanatory. But between the bunk bed, we do have our full-size video arcade. To turn that video arcade on, if you look to the left side, down beside the nightstand, there's a switch. That's a rocker switch. Simply turn that rocker switch on, and the light will come on on the top. Now, it'll take it a couple minutes, but it'll start to run through the initialization process. And I believe there are 56 different games on this video arcade uh, machine. So it's kind of cool. It's got the classics, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, uh, Tank. It's got Galaga, of course. Uh, you know, had to have Galaga if that's up there on the marquee. But it has all those. The one thing that we haven't figured out, and I'm sure one of you computer gurus can, but it's a, it's a switch we throw, I'm pretty sure. But you got one player and two player. Well, there is one player and two player, but it's just backwards. So... If you're going to be one player, select the two player button. If you want to play with two players, select the one person player. And that will get you what you want. Now the, the rest of these kind of vary a little bit, but they're pretty basic. You've got the, the, the fire buttons and they operate differently. To choose different games on it, simply move the joystick whichever direction you want to go and just continue to move that and you will come across all these different games my grandson was in here playing pinball the other day and i had no idea that pinball was even on this but there is a pinball so to start them simply like i said if you're going to do one player <laughs> hit two player and you will be revisiting the days of old and you can get after it so y'all have fun with this thing we uh we looked at a lot of different ones and decided on this we figured we got to have full size we got to have it so uh make sure you take advantage of that we hope you really enjoy it as we move across you've got your other queen bed there and then you have the dartboard um you guys uh <laughs> You'll have to look up the instructions for dart boards, but the proper distance to throw the dart is right about a foot away from the corner of the pool table, which of course is the next thing that we come to. Uh, the pool table's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. All your pool cues, the chalk and everything, that's gonna be over there on that side. Uh, the pool table itself, the top's just been refelted with a Simonize 860, I believe, which is supposed to be a really good Really good uh, action surface, they tell me, anyway, before they <laughs> before they told me how much. Anyhow, the pool table, uh, pool cues, everything there it, that you need to play pool with is all there. Um, the only other thing is, uh, in the fireplace, we do have, if you want to, you know, a little bit of mood, mood music while, or mood while you're over here, there's a remote up there on just to the right side of the fireplace and that is how you turn the candles on with this little remote to turn them on hit the green button turn them off which try to remember to turn them off it's kind of a really pain to you know replace all the batteries but the right side will turn it off 
So, and there's also a timer, so you can turn it on for two hours, four hours, um, whatever you want to use. But that'll give you a little bit of ambiance if you're uh, if you're after ambiance. I think we've got everything covered here in the uh, in the uh, main street room. You got a dresser over there, so you got some storage for your clothes and everything. If this is going to be your bedroom. Um, yeah, I think we're good over here. So we got it all covered. Uh, again, for the jukebox instructions, the ice maker instructions, and the coffee maker instructions, we do have all of those on videos. So please check them out in the guidebook. I uh, believe they're under this Main Street tab. So enjoy everything. We appreciate you booking with us. Thanks.